Sikh Oshia from Nagoya University in Japan. Uh, I am going to present my research about assessing motivation and capacity argument in game card seminar settings. Uh, we focus on gamification as the use of game design elements in non-game context. In order to uh, incorporate gamification into real world classroom situation, we need to consider, consider advanced preparation, especially on an information technology based support system. Recording events in the classroom and mapping the mechanisms to recording them are critically important for providing continuous support <coughs> and measuring effects on education. Everyone recognizes the importance of discussion in laboratory seminars. In laboratory seminars, students are required to understand the wide range of academic topics and express one's own opinions and brainstorm with others. However, student motivation to participate in discussion is not so high. <coughs> Indeed, in many cases, the students, presenters, and faculties are central players. So we aim to sustain and improve student motivation to actively <coughs> using gamification techniques. We propose a gamified discussion system to integrate gamification framework <coughs> into the seminar environment. In our previous work, we developed a uh, information technology for recording the semantic structure of seminars in real time. It is called discussion recorder. This picture is the image of discussion room. In discussion recorder, three cameras and two microphones are used to record content of arguments. Presenter use a browser-based interface to operate slides. And each participant uses a special device to input metadata about discussion. And the secretary uses a browser-based interface to input statements. Then discussion structures are metadata are semi-automatically recorded. Gamification framework involves elements that must be considered when uh, investigating in this uh, it incorporates a uh, game mechanism into a system or service. We define uh, a gamification framework as a framework consisting of the seven game uh, design elements. That is, goals, social, design, tutorial, rules, visualization, and difficulty adjustment. For example, goals is a step-by-step -step goal setting for improvement of capacity to argue. And rules is a mechanism enabling participants in a discussion to enable one another. We hope that the argumentative skills and motivation were low uh, at the start and the higher <coughs> at the end. <coughs> it is not easy to evaluate capacity to argue, because capacity to argue is a mm. oh, sorry. Uh, we uh, segmented five capacity to argue and skill categories into 83 argumentative skills, including 10 reasoning skills, 28 analytical skills, the even compositional skills, 26 communication skills, and 8 system use skills. These argumentative skills uh, can be depicted as argumentative skill graph like this. 
semi-participants are able to set or modify goals as required using the tablet device. Seminar participants can evaluate argumented skills of statements by using statement evaluation <coughs> interface. This interface runs on a browser application <coughs> on a tablet device. Then, someone made an utterance. This interface pops up on everyone's device. Listeners can raise the card's goal on a scale of 1 to 5 and can set the statement quality rating of plus 1 or plus 2 to appropriate. The scores can be immediately carried on server and displayed on the speaker's interface. Level and experience points are part of the roles and provide a sense of accomplishment. We provide three types of ranking view, that is standard rank, latest ranking, and fashion ranking. Rank measures are overall capacity to argue on a scale of 1 to 10. Latest ranking is the highest score award in a seminar and is shown on shared display at the end of each seminar. Fashion ranking comments student tenacity and um, should strongly motivate the students and beginners. <coughs> GD My Page gives users a way to check their progress, rewards, and other information. My page offers seven tasks, that is, talk, skills, data, history, ability, item, and badge. Under the status staff, users can easily verify their own progress in comparison with others by referring to a later chart. And the subview tab, users can set next goal for a rising augmented skill graph. Budgets are also part of heroes and uh, and by passing recommended actions. <coughs> we conducted experiments on GT system. The participants are eleven students and three faculty. The experimental time um, frame is from November 14th, 2012 to December 2013. We, <coughs> we focused on a total of six, uh, 62 seminars held on from April to June and October and December. This experiment, uh, experimental time frame, uh, we broke uh, this period into three periods, like this timeline. This timeline, each uh, period is related to the improvement of GD, that is, getting setting, uh, your goal setting, mutual evaluation, uh, statement quality, rewards, and so on. The assessment measures for motivation and capacity argue. We introduced some criteria. It is difficult to capacity to argue based on the augmented skills. So we divided capacity to argue into two aspects. That is speaking skills and listening skills. Speaking skills is based on quantity and quality of statements. Listening skills is based on whether he or she is listening closely. The breakdown of 11 students is like this timeline table. B4 is undergraduate senior. 
and M1 is first year graduate student, and M2 is second year graduate student. For evaluating motivation, we compared the number of statements before and after GD adopted. We calculated average number of statements per hour, hour for all students. The red figure shows the number increased from 1.07 to 1.40. The right figure shows in, uh, the number increased in response to implementation of GD. <coughs> the questionnaire indicates that all of the students felt improvement of motivation for speaking up and contributing to <coughs> seminars. When focusing exclusively pre and B on before, the number of statements in school year 2013 is greatly increased as compared to other years. We think that therefore we think that did contribute to increased motivation of students and familiar with seminars. This figure is a graph of capacity to argue. Please call speaking skill and listening skill on two axis. This fig uh, figure shows that capacity to argue is improved in all grades, especially before students may be concentrated on listening to the other students while unfamiliar with discussions. The questionnaire indicates that DB system and neutral evaluation scheme contribute to better capacity to argue. We aim to sustain and improve motivation to participate in seminar. For the purpose, we incorporate the gamification framework in the seminar setting and analyze one year seminar reports. As a result of experiments, we found the improvement of student motivation and capacity to argue. As future work, I would like to continue operation and assessment of our system. And I want to analyze in depth and refine in each game element. And I would also like to expand application to other research activities in the future. Thank you for your kind of attention.